Good day. This is a quick love message for those with Leo as their north node. If your north node is not Leo, this is not a message for you. If you're cross watching this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Switch roles if need be, but it's just a quick love and romance message. Again, for those with north node and Leo, okay? Universe, what does north node and Leo most need to know? about their love and romance. Somebody's dealing with somebody that they've known since they were a child or just young. But somebody did something. Somebody did something in secret with two other people. And now whatever love was there, even as a friendship, it's not there no more. It's withered up and died like a flower. Not even a flower, like a leaf. In other news, if you're wanting to get married, divine timing is at play. That love is worth waiting for. What does North Node and Leo most need to know about their love and romance? Says you have signs that are cautioning you about people that are flirting with you. Pay attention to who's flirting with you because your love life is ascending. Yeah, you have marriage on my. If you have kids, one of your ops is flirting with your child's mother or father. Or it could be the other way around where your child's mother or father uh, is flirting with an op. So keep your personal business about how much money you're making and what you're doing with your money to yourself. What does North Node and Leo, North Node and Leo most need to know about their love and romance? Subtraction in reverse. So somebody's not attracted to somebody. Yeah. It's romantic feelings in reverse. Calling in your soulmate in reverse. And release your ex in reverse. Somebody North Node in Leo is in your energy field. In your energy field. That person is not a soulmate. That person is an op. It's no romantic feelings there or attraction. It's more of like a distraction. Somebody deals with somebody that like set people up to get robbed or get sick for money or both.
what does North Node and Leo need to know about pay attention to the red flags when it comes to their love life and romance? Somebody's trying to set somebody up to either get sick or get robbed. What's attraction in reverse? You had an inkling feeling that someone right. Someone right with either a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Leo, and Aquarius. What's romantic feelings? In reverse. You've gotten signs about this. If a Sagittarius female is texting you, Stop texting. Blocker. What's calling in your soulmate in reverse? That's their job. They're a setup girl and proud to be so. They work for a group of people. They work with a group of people, a coven of bitches that do this as a job. Because it's easy money for them. But they're in spiritual court because you're a person of high honor, North Node and Leo. They tried to cause you despair and turn you into a, a low vibrational masculine energy. And their family is in despair because they found out what this person was doing. They may have set somebody else up already and got in trouble for it. What's Let's release your ex in reverse. This person is disgusting. Release your ex, okay? Whoever this older feminine energy is or whoever these feminines, because it's more than one. Whoever these feminine energies is, um, North Node and Leo, block them hoes from your social media. Banish them. Because they work for an older lady. It's an older bitch that teach them how to do this. They pose as divine feminines so they don't have to use their brain. They want to use their beauty for money. And then get pregnant and not have a clue on how to fucking take care of a baby. Expect a Wheel of Fortune moment in your love life. In your partnerships and in your relationships overall. In the near future. Cutting people off, cutting the females off. And um, you'll enter a new phase. You'll meet somebody new. But you gotta cut them. Uh, you gotta cut them folks off, cause they, them not good people. You're going through an awakening. You're having moments of enlightenment spiritually, and that's attracting feminine energies that don't love themselves. They're not emotionally or mentally stable. And they cling on to masculine energies to get that karma. The karma of unbeing, uh, of not being healed, 
the karma of having delays and not having plans going through. The karma of not being able to receive downloads and messages from the universe. And also blockages when it comes to you being able to logically go by facts. They blind you with immature ass energy, hot pocket pussy to throw you off of your balance, to take all your fucking money, to have you in the dark and not know what's about to happen next and go back to the older bitch and let them know we got the blindfold on that one. We stole that DNA and legacy. Who's gonna be our next victim? It's very unbalanced. Stay single and focus on your goals and your wish fulfillments. Nine, 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 it's over for that coven. And you'll have your new beginning. Okay? It's not good.